Okay, welcome back. Here we go. Um, oh, yeah, we have to click on the top screen, don't we? All right, don't hurry. The race. We're actually running out of time to do most of the things we want to try and get done. But I think that's all that's really left to do is this. We might need to speak to the Gorons down in the village. Uh, I've been waiting for you. See, everyone's restless because they can't wait to enter. We're going to enter, aren't you? Match is low. Right, yeah. Cool. All we have to do is run the racetrack. It's not hard. And we've got double the magic bar, so it should last a lot longer than it should do. Stick to the inner edge. Ooh, that was close. We need to hit that ball. We're not going to win this. Not when shit like that happens. This is we actually have to win a race. So we can get the prize. Look at that guy. He's miles ahead of us. He's got to screw up majorly for catch up now. And you got like Gorons like that one there that just come in behind you and just immediately end your bloody special. I don't know how. Catch up mechanics on them is insane. We'll come second. Down to you. So I ain't catching this guy up. Oh. It's close. We'll have to run it again. Yeah, sure. We'll enter again. We're going to keep doing it until we win because we have to. Just to stay tight to each of the corners. I think that might actually do us a bit better. More than enough magic. And doing that, look, they just run straight past you somehow. Some more magic soon. If that hit a tree, we should be okay. Then we hit a tree. For fuck's sake. So we're going to come second again. We're going to come last now. I kind of feel like I got ripped off there. It's like as if they purposely target just you. But yeah, they tap each other every now and again, but they do far more damage to you than they do to each other. Oh, fuck. Yep, we're at magic. We've lost. 
Hey, we're not coming dead last though, somebody fell off the track to look at that. We came third, maybe fourth. Ah, oh, my nose! What the hell? <coughs> Jesus Christ! Where did that come from? I'm going to sneeze again. <coughs> Jesus Christ. <coughs> well, that was painful. Right, I think we might have it this time. They're mostly attacking each other this time. And we've had a nice clean line until there. Looks like. I think as long as they don't knock us out of this spiky form, I think we might be fine. Even though first place is miles ahead. But he's hitting the trees, it's fine. It should be fine. Go through the trees. you first place this next section is really easy we might have this we might actually have this how the hell did he just overtake me no oh you assholes Absolute fucking asshole. And when it gave me the option to continue, it fucking didn't let me change. That was the best run we'd done. And they knocked me off the fucking bridge. The cheating cunts. Absolute cheating cons. Also, I, I, I like how just them in the normal form somehow is able to knock me around where I'm covered in bloody spikes. Oh, we're out of time. No, I'm not a little rusty, mate. Your friends cheated. <laughs> I start before them and so how they catch up to me. The catch up mechanic on this is bloody ridiculous. get through here. Well, we're not winning again. Yeah, we're definitely not winning now. Everyone just overtook us. And I can't get my shield up. There we go. As soon as I know, I know it, as soon as, oh, for fuck's sake, how did he cancel my shield? I know, as soon as... Really? Fucking really? Why does my shield keep turning off? <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous.
This is absolutely ridiculous. That was one of the best runs we had. They blew themselves up, and somehow we lost our shield, hit a fucking tree, and they kept losing our shields over and over again. And all you're going to get this time is an episode of me just complaining, because this is one of the worst me games I've ever played. Literally, the catch-up mechanics that they have is ridiculous. How is it that they're able to just keep up with you no matter what you do? I mean, come on, we had somebody, we had people keeping up with me after they'd hit bombs. And I cheat. I snap before everyone else. I mean, they're just so much faster than you for some reason. They forced me into last place. I don't know who programmed this section in, but whoever they were, they were a dick. Especially these trees. I mean, what the hell is this all about? A yeah, bomb. Oh, for fuck's sake, yep, yeah, we've lost. Yep, yeah, we've gone from first place to fourth. We're gonna get smacked around like there's no tomorrow now. And we just lost our shield. That's it, game. Mm. Might as well just slide off the bridge. We ain't gonna win now. There's, there's no way to win. He tried to bloody push me off the bridge. I mean, first place is just so far ahead now. And last place, how the fuck's he caught us up so quickly? How the hell have I just come... Oh, no, I'm in second. I came second. For fuck's sake. Sit. <laughs> I'm telling you on this, whoever designed the catch-up mechanic sucks. Because they made it so that your opponents just speed up and slow down based on where you are. It usually takes them two minutes ten to finish. Because it took me a minute and fifty. And all of a sudden they're doing it in a minute and fifty. Also, the guy that was in the last place, how quickly did he catch up to us? I'm pretty sure when I used to do this as a kid, I used to force them off the bridge. That was the trick to winning. So they'll hit bombs and such and they'll somehow still catch up. Clean through the trees. Now look at that. And he overtook me somehow. He tried to push me into a bottom. I'm in third now. This is the cleanest I've had this run. But they're slowing down now so I can catch up again. He was going bloody backwards. What the hell? just ahead of me. Oh, and everyone's caught now. 
I wonder if hitting them actually slows them down. There we go, we won. Or did we? Did we win that? I don't know, I might have come second. Because that guy was really close. That was great, there we go. This is from my dad, it's the prize. Uh, gold dust. I have no idea what gold dust does. But we got a ball. Info. Is this one? Very high quality. I have no idea who that's for. I think it has something to do with our sword. I wonder if we have to take it to... I have a feeling we have to take it to the blacksmith after he sharpened our sword and then it puts like a permanent sharpness on. You are fucking having a laugh. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck off, Link. So can we just roll up this? There we go, much quicker. I'm starting to get slightly annoyed now. Especially still so we don't have a lot of time left. We need to go speak to the power keg guy and do whatever needs to be done in the, the actual village still. We need to get permission to start using the big power keg so we can get to one on ranch in a, the next run. It looks like you managed to succeed. Let me your skills, I feel I'm letting you handle power kicks on your own. It was bad of me to put you through such a dangerous test. I want to take this as my apology. You got a power keg. The power kegs are very volatile, so you can only carry one at a time. If you shoot them with an arrow, they'll explode as soon as they hit. So be careful. Cool. Good to know. I want to do Lone and Ranch because it's got like one of the weirdest little mini games in it I've ever played. And I think it's funny, and therefore I want to give it a go. Oh, it's open. Well, I wasn't intending to fall down here, but they're not here anyway. Good room, welcome. Bombs, arrows, potions, that. Uh, okay. You didn't go to the races. Now, as I realise, the old man was in that lake when uh, we melted everything. But he might have well have drowned. <laughs> he drowned in the old man. Oh, there we go. I'm waiting a patient for you. You have been waiting for an arrival ever since I heard of the news. I had, I heard that you, the one who I once thought to be dead, had sealed off the blizzard that was blown it's, it's no head. Next to you, spring has come, and the Goron village everyone is pleased. The greatest Goron hero of all. That's Dominion. The immortal Goron who is not dead, even if he has died. <laughs> That's Dominion. The star who we wish upon, that's Damani. Oh, Damani. Damani, greatest hero of gods. Greatest, the greatest. Damani, the greatest in the world. The greatest in the world. My son got buried immediately. He went to see the Goron races with a separate spell. 
This is time I protect the tribe for so many years, choosing to yield the seat of tribal patriarch, choosing the ones. The Goron who makes calm decision yet boasts courageous determination and take care of the action. The chosen one, Demari, is you. We know other. What do you think? If that were, everyone would be happy to accept you as the new patriarch. You need not answer so quickly. Go into the Goron races. Think it over slowly. I am waiting. I've already done the races. Back to me when your decision after you've entered the guard race is at. I should be anxious to wait in your arrival. You go beyond the Twin Island Caves. That's everything then. Because we've already won the race. Uh, let's teleport quickly to the village. Just because it'll speed me up this little bit. Yeah, we've near enough mopped up this area. The only thing left that I really can see is... Oh, we do actually have two heart pieces here. We have got that one across the invisible bridge, don't we? What if we can get to that now, now that we've cleared the winter? Probably not. What I was trying to do was I was trying to come here. Yes, I have a funny feeling that the gold dust is used by this guy. Oh, a customer. Sorry, it would take until tomorrow morning to sharpen your sword, and we're not taking any more today. Are you asking because tomorrow is the time? Blah, 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 blah. Right, so we were too late. I'm pretty sure it's them that won the gold dust. We'll have to come back and do that. I want to see if. This has changed since some behind that waterfall. There's a chest. It's an invisible chest. So what's in it? Rupee? Yep, knew it. Always a rupee. Don't need more rupees. I'm already carrying 99. Which we're going to have to deposit and then go back in time. We're getting close to the 500. It'll be good because then it means we can deal with the sword. It's still a massive gap. Uh, that's probably something we need to do. I don't know what it is. Okay, so let's go to Clock Town. Cool, we'll try doing a little bit of mop up here. First things first, I want to deposit my rupees before I lose them. Speak. Deposit rupees. So we're going to take a look at you. Yep, it's me. Two hundred ninety-two rupees. What's that? The adult wallet. I can now carry 200 rupees. Yay! A step. Step in the right direction. Let's not open to 10. Uh, I'm not sure who the other people are, to be honest. Oh, this is something we missed out on a lot of stuff. Oh, we might actually be able to do I think you actually just have to go around the back for that bit. Maybe. Or he gives you something. 
Maybe. I don't, so I don't remember. It's locked. Oh well. So essentially, I need to now wait till ten o'clock so I can get in here. And because we haven't stopped. Because the old lady got robbed, he should have different merchandise now. I think this is how we get the stay awake mask. I think it is anyway. I'm just gonna wait for this to open. What time's it open? Ten? Curiosity shop. Ten. We do for the next two hours then. Here, I guess. Oh, more rupees. That was my goal, was just trying to earn a few more rupees so we could get a better spot next month. Or in this area. The ocean is next, but I think to get in the ocean, we actually have to do the other line anyway. We have to jump a fence. Jump the fence, we need the horse. Yeah, it must be Lone Line next. Long Long, Lone Line, whatever. Don't care, don't really matter. It's nearly 10 o'clock. I'll deposit my new rupees. So, I'm going to deposit, I'm going to deposit 27 rupees. See, that's a lot. A lot! Yeah, I see. It's a clock. Any second now. Any second. That's the big thing to say. If I get up, the bigger that wallet is, the better, because it means I can stay out longer before I have to come back in and cash in. Yeah, the very next day, we are definitely going to loan loan. Oh, we haven't done the fishing either. I guess we can do that in between doing the horse based stuff. Come in. Have a look around. I don't have a special. Check it out. Nice special bargain. It was just stolen. Just give it a second to go. Really hot. Got a few stalls, so let's go back. Check it out. Hundred rupees. This is just between us, but this is actually the bomb shops. He did not have what I was after. But that would be how you get your bomb bag, I guess. Right then. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Alright, let's go back in time again. I think that's what we're going to call this episode. Uh, in the next episode, we will be doing the horse ranch. And until then, guys, I'll see you all next time. So, bye.